wearing these flowers in the air long ago, but uh, at a certain point the music industry gave up the means of production. That means uh, their studios, the big studio complexes, became independent and a lot of more studios uh, were founded. This is the last of the means of production, quite simple. And in the 90s, bedroom producers took their first steps. Uh, so the makers number two changed the production model. So it was, what, was not only the, the consumer product, just like the music maker, but also the Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, which is still around. So production changed. And then, in the end of the 20th century, the music industry peaked with MTV, with all these investments from Fortune 500 companies and songs, and uh, for a perfect exploitation of mainstream and subcultures, just like hip hop, techno, and all that kind of stuff. And then came the makers number three. This is another wave of technology. They changed the distribution control. This was the first time the music industry was facing a really change of the distribution model with MP3, with Napster, MySpace, Last.fm, until today's on-demand music streaming. So this is the last, I think, um, the last step according to this made a little bit more than 10 years ago. And meanwhile, I think the music makers, the creative music makers morphed somehow into an aligned crowd without impact. So focusing on blockbuster headlines and TV shows, maybe that's not enough to be a maker. And at the same time, video games, they're visual stars, just like Mario and other um, puppets, sports idols, and of course the internet, supported by these big media companies, were, became a big competition for all this was music is, and people spending much more time with such alternative offers. And now that renting music is influencing ownership, should we celebrate music streaming? I think yes, but music streaming is not a salvation. It's the last development of the 20th century music industry business model. It's maybe a dead end street. And because of, there will be a lot of streaming, of course. So streaming will be there. But at the same time, downloads and the physical sales go down faster. And at the end, which was results in a smaller market from year to year. Yeah, you can call me a clown, maybe, but this is only an assumption I maybe have to prove. So if you already have everything on your fingertips, everywhere, what is the next big thing? Big thing. This is the question I would like to ask. So maybe you have 60 million tracks instead of 30 million? It's not a solution to have Rammstein, Beatles and ACDC now at Spotify or other on-demand stores. It's uh, lossless quality or HD audio. This will be, I think, this will happen definitely in the next years, but it's not a general development. It's, I call it, it's an improvement. So the business model is not changing with that. So think about in, a two year, in some years from now, maybe five years and uh, 70% of the global most music market is owned by two or three companies. Will you then discuss still if content is king or distribution? There is distribution. Or maybe at that time, in five years from now, will it be better for catalogs and artists to directly deal with such distribution formats, uh, which they have already the promotion power, they have the customer data, they have all the other data you need to distribute music today. So in fact is, it is something I'm not interested in hearing that. Most of the people attending the show are not interested in, in hearing that. But most people don't really need music. That's also a fact. They need peace, food, sex, social engagement to make their living and to be part of that flow created by all these tech companies, by these gadgets and all these social things every time, everywhere. But music is not needed for everybody. And sad enough, today's teen idols, uh, I have my personal experience with my son, are players. The players of Twitch in Germany, Mediacraft or Studio 71, they show how to play the game. They are not makers. 
there are players. And the question is, of course, they enhance the pop their popularity, that's funny. Also with music, creating new pieces of music, which is distributed to another way, to all these uh, video networks first, and then maybe later in a other distribution model. So the makers from today can be found in, only in technology. They changing production, communication, distribution, gaming, and society. Think of all these discussions at the moment with Uber in Germany and all that kind of stuff. Um, disruption is the key word. I don't want to use that in that uh, sense, um, but they are the superstars. Messi, Zuckerberg, Opera Winfrey, or Oculus, Nest, Real Madrid, or Tesla. That's the thing which are moving. And the money in finance and tech dictates the media and the society, not the music. Yes, that could drive us crazy, which people who are involved with music. And the chance, the question is, where is the chance for these new makers, number five, as I had numbered these, that lies it in creativity again, maybe, there is maybe no alternative in just making, trying, changing, and occupying new fields. And this is... So, and there is, for instance, an initiative. They are doing help for themselves. It's for uh, the Echo Musica. It's a Brazilian um, cooperative movement. They controlling everything in a parallel world from distribution, promotion, production, live entertainment. They also creating festivals. They are financed by their own community. So that's a parallel world which existing completely independent from the existing music industry. And the question is how they could reach genuine music business uh, independently. They use whatever they already exists in their works with other people. They campaign against that which is unfair. And they innovate and build new systems that are fair and that support creativity, culture, and democratic principles. So that's completely different to the things we have because also of the missing transparency and the flexibility, for instance, in licensing. Tech makers will start to launch projects with creative makers. For instance, as you can see, at Hack Days, of course, it's a little thing, but also at the so-called Music Tech Fests. I think this weekend there is a big Music Tech Fest in London. First Berlin Music Tech Fest, for those who are interested, will be in the last weekend of October here in Berlin. So they are spreading around the world. And they are offering for creative people um, APIs, code, tools, and prepared as ready to use. So if you don't have any idea what you do with technology, they are going to prepare this to you, uh, deliver instant creativity. So you just can start as a creative musician to grab these tools, merge them and recreate. Um, so you will get new spaces containing collaborative creativity at events. So at the end, the new makers are live producers, visual artists, DJs, performers, musicians and the audience. This is something which will definitely be completely new within the next years. The audience will be part of this new entertainment experience. And for that reason, you need another form of rights. You need maybe, I call it the liquid rights. So rights ready to use in such an environment. Rights which are focused on instant creation and with no need to distribute that afterwards. That's uh, because if you have that trend, the people want to be there, being part of that event, creation is everything. So being in the now. So, and the eighth day, things became instruments, producing data, taking part in the process as wearables and others, bringing life to the internet of music things through the new creative makers. This is an example, just how it could look. So there is still a club, there is still a floor, there is still a stage, and there is a DJ, he's the master, and he is playing. But there is some guy on the floor, and he is shaking maybe his phone or something else, a device, and he is introducing a bass line, additionally to that. But he is also a girlfriend, and this girlfriend wants an additional melody to this music, connected to the master sound of the DJ. 
and her girlfriend is standing on the bar. She wants to have another FX. And uh, the music is evolving through all these people because these guy, uh, this guy wants to have a pet sound additionally on top of that. So this is the scene of the new creators, the audience, uh, the environment, the technology, and the master, the DJ, performer, or the band. So the traditional selling, renting, and distribution of music will become less important. There is less a need to preserve something for later when now is everything. Of course, if you would like to be in such an experience, I think there is no need to distribute this afterwards. But it's a new model to raise money for musicians and for creative people outside of the traditional business model. And making music with everything, uh, with anything and connecting with everything will be open to everybody. So things will really be simple. And the pioneers already create an easy to use technology platform and we will see this and to enable every creative person to use technology and tools in the future music fab labs. These, even if the new makers changing the business model and even if the music industry itself as we know it disappears maybe slowly, the music will stay. That is of course the most important message. The music will be there. Maybe more important, but there will be other models for more people and for other people. And of course, if the music is becoming more relevant in the society, then it will also be growing. Because if music is next to the audience, next to the problems we all have, and music is part of the solution in our information society, music and creativity will get credits. But if music is only just the noise, just something from uh, the charts, then maybe it's not that relevant in this environment. So of course, we still remember Kraftwerk's statement, it's more relevant than ever, all these data we already have. And to summarize that, make a summary. In the music business, there is something going up, of course, definitely. There will be more digital, and this digital will be streaming, definitely. But at the same time, there will be less money because of the decreasing downloads and physical sales. Independent music will have less impact in the music biz itself, but there's more, be more growth in other structures, which are parallel to the existing music um, business. And at the end, if you're thinking about the creative makers, they will have more space with all these things on your fingertips from technology. They will have more possibilities for collaborations. They could use liquid rights to instant creating. And of course, not 100% transparency. It will, of course, of the data we already getting, it's possible to be 1000% transparent. And this is the greens for the creative makers and the inter inter independent business model of now. Creating, making is the next step. Just like the Fab Labs, uh, all these fabs starting alternative production. Going back to the roots, producing something in smaller pieces, uh, not millions of things, but uh, single things. Um, just as we know it from the 3D maker scene. And the creative makers have the chance to become more relevant, to re-influence society. But the question is, of course, will we grab this chance? And we grab this chance by create unique experience. This is very, very important, not doing something already existing or somebody else that did. So the unique experience is very, very important. If you have more relevance, then you have more influence on the society, on people, on the social things. So join the makers is very important. Start something. And you, of course, can try to hack the model, always. That's not a problem. And very important, accept tradition. It's not a disruption that it's destroying the existing music business. There will be parallel worlds. That is very, very important. It's not talking about disruption, it's changing and parallel 
uh, things which are going on. So I'm not the magician. I don't could say abracadabra. I would like to wish um, that it will be like this, but of course it's only something which I am thinking about of seeing all these um, things in the in the um, in the actual business and here. And uh, the most important thing is make music, and with music you can make noise. And that's very important. Thank you. So, of course, um, I'm open for questions. So we, I, I have to check how many time we have because of the trouble with the adapter. But I see we still have 10 minutes time for questions. So, perfect to answer your question if you have one. No questions, then enjoy the day here in Berlin, Berlin Music Week. Thank you. Bye.